Overlean cutout face plant cutoff. These mean slightly different things, but confusingly the words are used interchangeably. In this video I'll answer questions like what's an overlean, what's a cutout, why does either of them happen, and how can we prevent them? First, let's look at an EUC. What moving part does it have, and how does it balance? The folding pedals and suspension in these newer models are irrelevant for balancing, so the only thing left is a spinning tire. The only thing an EUC can do is spin the tire faster or slower. It's so fast in reacting to a tilt in the wheel's body that it feels as if it had two tires like a bicycle. But it does not. It has just a single tire on freely rotating bearings, but the tire is rotated very precisely. There's nothing else to keep the wheel upright. Then let's take a broomstick, well actually a long plastic tube. I'll set it vertically on my hand and I'll try to keep my hand strictly in place. What will happen? I'll make the analogy clearer by adding a rider on an EUC that's powered off. So we all know what happens. In order for the broomstick, the rider, to stay upright, my hand, the EUC, needs to move in the direction the tube is falling towards and do it fast enough to catch and even pass the broomstick. This situation is called an inverted pendulum. And this is how we ride the EUC. When the sensors notice that you are leaning forward or backward, the motor will accelerate accordingly to keep itself upright. This is the only thing that the EUC does, or even can do. It can only spin the tire as it tries to stay upright, so it can't even accelerate on its own. Neither can it slow down. Then, what happens if the wheel stops in the middle of a ride? Some people call all crashes cutouts, but originally the word cutout or cutoff was used to describe an electrical failure in the wheel in the middle of a ride. The wheel would have to be repaired afterwards. The most common thing to fail in the wheel has been the controller's MOSFETs, which are the parts that do most of the work. The MOSFETs nowadays are of course much sturdier than just a few years ago, but there's still a limit to what they can endure. There can of course be other failures in the controller as well, just like there can be failures in any electronic device. Which is why you need to use a sufficient amount of safety gear while riding. Now, what happens if I move my hand, but do it slower than would be required for balancing the broomstick? Right, the broomstick still fell. The same happens if the EUC doesn't accelerate fast enough to match the rider's lean. And this is called an overlean. The rider leaned harder than the wheel could catch up. The wheel didn't have enough power for the acceleration that would have been needed. It could only spin the tire a bit too slow. The electronics didn't fail, and the wheel doesn't even turn off in such a crash. Nowadays the wheels are very powerful, up to 10 times more so than just 7 years ago. So how come they can still be overleaned? Simple, the maximum speeds are now more than 4 times higher. Leaning hard on power pads or accelerating hard at high speeds can create a power requirement that is too much for the controller or the power source of the battery. The available torque gets lower the faster you go, and if you ride a wheel that doesn't have any limiters, you can eventually reach a speed where the wheel's available balancing power goes down to zero. The thing is, the controller gives the motor a voltage that spins the motor. But as the motor spins, it creates its own voltage, so-called back EMF voltage. This lowers the available voltage difference that is used for accelerating the motor. So more speed, less power. And how do we prevent overleans? Do we purchase a $600 capacitor mod that doesn't actually do anything that it promises? No. no. It's actually very simple. Don't try to accelerate too hard, especially at faster speeds or with a depleted battery. The exact limits are hard to conceptualize though, which is why InMotion and Kingsong wheels have alarms and tiltbacks for overspeed, overcurrent, undervoltage, etc. that aim to prevent you from overburdening the wheel. Be sure to back down immediately as soon as you reach them though. There are now also PWM tiltback firmware versions available for most Begode wheels through the EUC World app. 
be sure to upgrade if you are riding a bigode. Ride safe everybody and thanks for watching.